In today's journal with me we're going to take a journaling card that is basically a piece of book page glued onto some white cardstock and create this in a step-by-step -step process plus your journaling prompt and place to write on the tag. First thing I want to do is take some collage matte medium or some acrylic matte medium and cover the base of the card. While that's still wet I think we'll take some of this poppy because we've still got like a cornflower and poppy pocket that we're filling. I think I'll put down here. can do this with Mod Podge as well. I might take a bit of the lighter one and put that into that top corner. We shall let that dry or if you have a heat gun you can dry it off. As usual I don't have a clue where my sanding block has gone so I'm using a nail file. Same difference. I'm just going to wear down some of this. The reason I'm attacking this side quite so vigorously is it ended up with a bit of a straight line and I didn't want it to have one. Because I have knocked off a bit of that coat, I'm going to put another coat on. I'm going to let that dry. On my brush I have some white gesso and I'm going to lightly scrub over some of these bits. I want to leave some bits a bit stronger. I want to dry that bit piece off. So there's a lot of drying going on here. I have here three spray inks, a Distress Oxide Vintage Photo, a Mermaid Lagoon, and a Dilusions Vibrant Turquoise. You can use watercolor, crayons, paints, whatever you want to use for this. All I'm going to do is take some drops of colour and squirt it down the card. This is the Mermaid Lagoon. Down the base here we'll try that turquoise. I want a bit to go over that white bit there. We started doing a poppy theme before Emma did the additional sort of add-ons to the original Poppy Creator Club light. I've now printed them up and I'm going to be using one of these fussy cuts on this journaling card. I might have to go for the smaller size ones. They're in two different sizes. Although I could just go with a flower. I will use the matte medium probably over the whole card so that I can put that flower in on here. I think I'll put it so that it does go into this part. Now I want to go over the top of that, make sure everything's protected. I have my Stabilo 8046. I'm going to gently outline this poppy. By outlining we not only help that poppy pop, <laughs> But it also, if we haven't cut a brilliant fussy cut, it will help cover up any white paper showing through. I'm now damping my fingers, not too much, and I'm going to go along this edge and smudge some of this pencil. Although I want a strong outline, I also want it fading. Get a bit into there, let that spread off that bit. I've brought a few more sprays in. I have an antique linen. I was thinking on this side, getting some more golden colours. I have the amber. Marmalade colour. We're going to try 
adding some splashes of white to this card. Probably got slightly too many, but not as big as you'd get with a paintbrush. I don't know what colour this ink is. I'm going to see. Looks like it's either grey or black. Black. Want to edge round this to frame it. Stabilo again. That makes for a really strong framing. I'm going to use my spray and shine to protect this top coat, which is going to make it a shiny card rather than a matte finish. We are nearly finished with this card. All that needs doing, because it's got stained at the back, is for me to add some paper to it. I will use my Memento Espresso, which is quite dark, but the other side is a black border. Something I've already cut out from the Poppy's Gratitude. We do also have prompts in the gratitude boxes. How about ways I am fortunate? I'm going to put it down to the bottom. Line it up along there. I'm going to see if I can add some of this Poppy napkin to the back of here. I fussy cut out the next Poppy. And although I want it to have a bit of a white border, I do also want it to stand out. So I am going to go in with a touch of ink. It's not going to get all of it. Last little thing. Take that espresso back round the edge that's been trimmed along. Now we have our journal with me prompt ways i am fortunate a place to write in and it's themed to that big pocket that we've done